you, with anything that you're choosing, guys, you always want to think, when it comes to my lower back, you want to ask myself the question, how is this working to help my back injury? How is the PRP going to work to help my back injury? How is the steroid injection going to help to, work, uh, to recover from my herniated disc at L5S1? That is the most important thing you want to think about. When we talk about the quote unquote mechanism of action, something like a PRP injection, something like a stem cell injection is going to be hypothesized that it is going to help improve tissue healing. That sounds like a good thing. How is, if we contrast that with your nerve block, as the name suggests, how is that going to help? Well, it's going to do precisely nothing to help the healing. It's going to make you less aware of what's going on in this area. Now you have to, with your understanding as an informed individual, make the decision. Do you think it's a good idea that you're not aware of the damage in this area or do you think it's a bad idea? And then you can make the decision. But I'm very, very for the regenerative medicines because at least they make sense. And then you need to go and speak to someone who specializes in those particular um, therapeutics uh, and delivering those, those uh, biologicals, um, and have a discussion about how they think it can help you specifically. Um, so that's definitely something to talk about. But when we've got diffuse levels of uh, degenerate and damaged discs across the lumbar spine, we seriously need to be looking at um, what we're doing on a daily basis and what we've been doing to allow this to perpetuate through so many areas of the lower back.